Hello there! Welcome back to another episode of My Freak Apocalypse Let's Play here on my channel. In the last episode, we went on a little <laughs> sightseeing tour through the school, uh, checking out some rooms and, well, generally some areas that we haven't checked out before. Because we still have to find two spots, yes, two spots to put um, the posters we printed in the last episode, um, which we haven't found yet. I think we haven't found them yet, because I wouldn't know where to put them just yet. And, um, yeah, that's still what we're doing. Or what we're gonna have to do, to put um, to put up some posters and then talk to two guys that we also haven't found yet. But yeah, um, actually, now that I see this, this whiteboard again, let me try and... Maybe all the people who said I okay. sucked were right. Okay, yeah, apparently not here. Probably also not here. And so our hero fails again. Yeah, he fails again. Okay, um, yeah, it's not in the faculty then. Maybe on this board? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's be honest. Sawyer's flyer looks way better than any of this art anyway, so I did them a favor. Yeah. Well... No, it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but in our case, art is in the eye of the beholder, right? <laughs> okay, so one more now. Uh, nurse's office, and this was the faculty, so... Um, there's another hallway this way, and probably another one this way. Let's talk to him first. Or let's look at him first. Look at me while I look at him while he looks at that painting. I'd rather just pick up the painting and slam it over his head for looking so pretentious. Don't smash his dreams, I guess. How's it hanging? 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 This is no gallery. Can't you see this painting is currently displayed on an easel and not hung upon the walls? Sorry I asked. As you should be. Um, yeah. Is this one of those magic eye paintings? Because I don't see it. Is this one of those magic eye paintings? Because I don't see it. You don't see it because your unrefined eye can't comprehend its brilliance? Of course. Can you mansplain it to me? This painting is, how you say, crap, but the number one ribbon elevates it as a celebration. A celebration of crap. Whimsical commentary from the artist about the current state of art. Genius. Oh, so genius. So artistic. My grandma says So I bright, so brash. Uh, will you go to the prom with me? Will you go to prom with me? Yes, that is the name of this art piece. Really? That painting is called Will you go to prom with me? No. No what? No, I will not go to prom with you. I'm so confused. Yeah. I'm not high enough for this. Later. I'm not high enough for this. Later. We need the markers. Good riddance, Philistine. Um. Just out of curiosity. Let's make it. Let's turn it into real art. MacGyver is rolling in his duct tape okay. grave after that idea. Yeah. Okay, um. Apparently, there's a shop right here. Oh! Yeah, sure. Yeah. What else was I thinking, right? Uh, well, he seems beat up. Todd looks like he comes from a broken home. A home he's having trouble fixing due to his shitty skills in shop class. Yeah, told, um, 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 Todd's home isn't the only thing that's broken, apparently. I don't want to get blood on myself or cause him any more pain. Hey, Todd. You look a bit more roughed up than the last time I saw you. What happened? Yeah, I broke my arm in a freak 2x4 accident. I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, sorry. And what happened to your eye? Oh, funny story, actually. I aimed my hammer the wrong way, got a nail stuck in it. I'm trying to imagine how he would do that. I mean, he's definitely not handy, that's for sure. Aimed your hammer the wrong way? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And got a nail stuck in your eye. Uh-huh. Wow. Well, at least it's an unusual injury. But it's nothing to brag about, I'd say. Yep, third time I've done it this semester. Mm. Jesus, Todd. Hey, dude. Uh, I wouldn't stand there if I were you. That shelf looks less than reliable. But it doesn't look like it's gonna move anytime soon. It looks like it's part of the backdrop, so I think he's safe. What? Why? 
Well, what's wrong with my shelf? I built it myself oh. last week. I got a C plus on it. Well, if that's the C plus I'd like to have, um, I would have loved to have as teacher during my school days. Oh yeah, I suppose you and that shelf do look a bit related. Why didn't you take it home? I uh, accidentally nailed it to the counter. Oh, I mean, I guess that means it can't fall over, right? Oh, but I'm still pretty proud of it. You uh, should be. G good job, Todd. Um, but it seems like we can pick up the paint can. Right? A bucket of blood and a bucket of paint. Which is which? Take them both. Nah, I don't want to get okay. caught red-handed. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on the recording, but if you take a look at the left can that's uh, like flipped over and um, where whatever it is, paint or blood is spilling out, um, the one next to it that is, sti uh, that is still closed, that even says paint on it, it looks as if it could have an animation, as if you could pick it up, you know what I mean. But apparently we can't. So who's this? Poor Max. The last birdhouse he built collapsed and crushed his bird. Oh. Looks like he just can't get it right. Oh. The poor bird. He looks like he's going to cry. I don't think I should. By the way, something I just noticed. What's that on the sh uh, what's that on the saw blade? I'm hoping it's red paint, but uh, taking a look at him, it probably is something else, right? You doing all right? Zero days without an accident, by uh, um, without an accident, by the way. I don't know, dude. This birdhouse stuff just isn't for me. Would you say it's for the birds? Mm. That was zero percent funny, Coop. Sorry, I just saw an opening. Had to take it. Anyway, if it makes you feel any better, I couldn't even tell that was a birdhouse. No, <laughs> no, that does not make me feel any better. Could be a compliment or compliment that I would be making. Give me a break. I'm trying over here. Um. So, how's shop class treating you? So, how's shop class treating you? What kind of a question is that? It's going awful, Coop. Maybe it'd make a better doorstop at this rate. My assignment is to construct a birdhouse. Right now, it looks like a tiny bird hurricane destroyed it, but I really need to pass this class before the school year ends. Don't worry, there are plenty of people who work in construction that never graduated high school. That should be a bit alarming, I think. I don't think I have a future in construction, dude. Would you get lost? You're tarnishing the little hope I have left. Actually, I have a few more things to say. <laughs> Tarnish. Nice wood pun. <laughs> Please leave. Have you ever made something other than a birdhouse? Have you ever made something other than a birdhouse? Yeah, I tried to make a bird mansion once, Ooh. but that turned out even worse. Yeesh, what'd that look like? It looked like it was part of a planned demolition. <laughs> Unlike a planned demolition, however, they found bodies under the rubble. Okay, where did they come from? Yikes! What happened? I was hoisting it up with a rope and pulley, but the whole thing came crashing down. Teacher was pissed, lives were lost. Not my best Thursday. I mean, a mansion is bigger than a house, but I'm starting to wonder how big this bird mansion actually was that people died, right? Um. Damn. So what became of the project? The teacher recycled the wood and constructed a memorial to all those who died in the bird mansion. He gave the pulley back to the janitor. I'm not allowed to use it anymore. Hmm. I did not hear about any of this. So, oh, what well, kind nah. of I don't think that. <laughs> Please leave. Sorry. <laughs> uh, will you go to prom with me? The um, obligatory question. Will you go to prom with me? Come on, man. I already told you. I'm saving prom for marriage. Hmm. Well, that's a way to look at it. Ask. Um, maybe building isn't your thing? Maybe building isn't your thing. Maybe making friends isn't your thing. How do you know? Can't argue with that. Well, as long as we all know our place. Besides, it's not my fault. Well, not entirely. If it wasn't for that stupid climbing rope in the gymnasium burning my hands on the slide back down, it wouldn't hurt to hammer so much, hmm. and I wouldn't have to try gluing all this wood together. Rope burns suck. I remember when Kent tied my nuts to that rope and attached the other end to Principal McNally's rear car bumper as he drove home after school one day. Doctor said I couldn't wear pants for three weeks. May never bear children. That escalated quickly. Way to make my pain all about you, Coop. <laughs> if you're looking to cry about it, find another shoulder. I've got enough to worry about. Okay, catch you later, Max. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. They're all so charming. By the way... Somebody lost something apparently. Severed thumb? I mean, another severed thumb. Oh, another one. Okay, so there were more. Good to know. That, 
Uh, that isn't mine. But it can be yours if you just pick it up. Hope you find your owner soon. Like, super soon. You're starting to stink. Um... Yeah, I don't think, um... You know, I'm not looking at anything... Uh, I'm not looking at everything anymore. And I don't think there's anything else really interesting in here, so I'm just gonna go back out. Mm, and now I guess I'm gonna go here, because this doesn't seem like a hallway. Yeah, okay, so... Art is in class. <laughs> That's Mr. Jellyneck, the art teacher. Harshly judging everyone's artwork, as usual. Now's not the time for finger painting on my art teacher. Hey, Mr. Jellyneck, sold any of your paintings yet? My paintings are too high concept for plebes to understand. I'm doing commissions. I take cryptocurrency and cigarettes. Dog coin. To the moon. Uh, I'll pass. You're dead to me. When do we get to paint that naked lady? When do we get to paint that naked lady? When you stop being such a little pervert. <laughs> so, never? Gotcha. Is majoring in art a wise career choice? Is majoring in art a wise career choice? Yes, absolutely. There's lots of money in art. I've never been happier. I have a feeling you're lying. Kill me. You know, I think he would make a great match with uh, that one teacher in the faculty that was chain-smoking. They seem like they really share the same outlook on life. Off, Off I, I go. go. Okay, um... Uh, can we put this here, perhaps? Smart thinking, no. but no. Okay. Well, let's talk to him, or let's look at him first. Looks like Damien has a bright future in porn commissions. I'm sure that break is focus. Hey, what you drawing? As much as I'd love to spend a few hours explaining to you the intricacies of balance, movement, and use of shapes, I'm in the thick of an artistic spike that I simply cannot let slip away. Looks like a dude with his dick out. You're drawing a dude with his dick out. Yep. You could have just said that, you know. I... I didn't want you to make fun of me. Well, it sounds very plain if you put it like that. You gotta find an... artistic way to <laughs> say that. That's cool, dude. Draw all the dicks you'd like. I won't tell anyone. Phew. Thanks, man. Still drawing dicks? Shh, yes. You've got a solid career in webcomics in the future. I can feel it. Me too. You really think so? I'm not that good, though. I only really draw stick figures and dicks, to be honest. Perfect for this game. <laughs> like that matters. Anyone could be a webcomic artist. Keep it up. Hey, thanks, Coop. Still drawing dicks? I sure am. Power to the people. You mean power to the penis? Absolutely. Okay. Um, can we continue this way? No, we can't. Okay, um, before we go out, though, I want to try this uh, bulletin board. Smart thinking, but no. Oh, well, it's not a bulletin board, but you know what I mean, right? But, okay, that's uh, that seems to be everything in here for now. So let's go back out. And if I go this way, where does this lead? I have a feel. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um... Poetry Club. This is the club where we read Sylvia Plath and cut ourselves. I thought poetry is supposed to touch me. Roses are red, violets are blue. Uh, that's all I got, so I won't be joining you. Poetic. Uh... Yeah, I guess let's take a look at her again. Jeepers! You have to admire Holly's willingness to stretch the boundaries of reasonable force. Retirement is gonna be tough on her, though. She's gonna treat, um, her caretakers just like he's treating the student. Uh, just like she's treating the student right now. I already know. Try me touches, and your ass will be in crotches! I figured as much as. Uh-uh-uh-uh. <laughs> this is hall monitor brutality! This is justice! Thanks for the lead. Now I can feed my meat to make this punk bleed! Welcome to America. I'd say you're welcome, but I honestly feel awful about this. Please go easy on him. This is why I love my job! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! She could join the police force. 
Oops. Okay, so they're technically the same object, so I can't um, take a look at him. Okay. Um, cafeteria. Did we go into the cafeteria already? I oh, I don't remember. We went into that um, doorway to um, that was pointing towards us. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, no, we didn't go here before. But I have a feeling that maybe. There's loads of people in here, so someone's bound to see this. I hope. There we go. Sawyer's definitely gonna think of me as her best friend now. Well, hopefully. Hopefully. This guy's kawaii as fuck, and looks like he has a fashion designer on speed dial. I'd like to get to know him. I attempt to steal his amazing t-shirt. I lose 10 klepto points. Hmm. Hi. Oh, your face is making me nauseous. Charming, as always, as everybody. Excuse me. I thought cave trolls stayed in their caves. <laughs> Hey! Please, stop using up my oxygen. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Okay, actually, let me take a look at the lunch lady first. That is one heaping scoop of lunch lady right there. That's, uh, unsanitary. Yeesh! This food smells like a wet wad of death. Why don't I reduce you into a wet wad of death for that comment? That's probably what's in the food that they are serving. You know, students who um, spoke their mind and uh, who um, the lunch lady wasn't the lunch lady wasn't too happy about them speaking their mind, and so she um, just um, you know, and um, and then mm, dinner is served, you know, or lunch is served. You know what I mean? I'm sure it's not your fault. <laughs> I doubt the school gives you much of a food budget. What's a food budget? Yeah. I'm not gonna miss eating here after I graduate. Yeah, no. Do you need something, mouth breather? Or are you just here to fog up my sneeze god? What culinary crimes are on the lunch menu today? What culinary crimes are on the lunch menu today? The only crime I see is all the pimples your face is harboring, pipsqueak. <laughs> will, will you go to prom with me? Will you go to prom with me? Kid, I could fit your entire tiny body inside of me without feeling it. Um, and those are some images I, again, um, probably won't forget for the rest of my life. I'm gonna forget I heard that. Yeah, try to at least. Um, do you know where I could find a kid named Jake? Because, yes, we still need to find Jake. Do you know where I could find a kid named Jake? There's 500 Jakes at this mm. school. 498 after yesterday's tuna surprise. Could you be more specific? Uh, he was asked out by that crying girl. In the bathroom, if that helps you. Uh, he likes gross fish chips. Mm -hmm. And that's... Those nightmare chips. Why would you want those sodium soap snacks when you could have something good for you? Like my delicious triple, triple fried, fried lard stuff. semi-flawed meatloaf with a quilt of nacho cheese and melted spatula. Mm. All resting on a bed of all pork rot. Mm -hmm. Sounds, uh, delicious. Maybe later. So, back to Jake. Any idea where I could find him? Just look for some queasy little twink. Other than yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm trying to read the menu. Uh, mac and cheese surprise. Meat lottery, I think. <laughs> Just bread, probably. Out of noodles, maybe? I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything too gross on the menu, surprisingly. Jeez, you'd think she was meeting Elvis or something. Well, she's meeting a king, not the king, but a king. They have laws against that sort of thing. And he had to walk all the way around the table to say that. Is this lion even moving? You guys have been here all lunch period. <sighs> have you ever noticed how perfect Ken's teeth are? His smile just melts me. I'd do anything to go on just one date with him. I'd punch my own mother in the throat. I'd kill my best friend and burn the body. Are you serious? A true dead rookie. Serious. Speaking of dead, can you get lost? I'd just die if Kent saw me talking to a loser like you. Oh man, you're right. What was I thinking? Sorry for existing. I'll just get out of your hair then. I don't forgive you. Bye. Bye. 
That just might be the worst t-shirt in the world. I, I can't walk away now. We're gonna have to wait until this dialogue is over. Oh, it's his face. Okay. He strikes me as the kind of person you don't want to touch. Probably, he's probably gonna kill you if you touch his shirt. What are you gonna have Kent write in your yearbook? Oh, uh, good question. I, I don't even know. I, I saved up my lunch money for three weeks to afford it, though. I better think of something good. Wait, you've gotta pay him to get him to sign it? Plebs like us should be honored to have the opportunity to even gaze upon his glory, let alone borrow a moment of his precious time. Don't know about that. You do know that okay. he's probably a total jerk because people like you let him act this way, right? Plus, he's already stupid rich. Why would you pay him to write in your book? This whole thing is stupid. Love can really make you blind. Don't criticize me! It's moments like this that make it so fun to watch Kent beat you up! Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, okay, so uh, we have another one with uh, uh, a book that even has his face on it. I wish somebody loved me as much as he loves Kent. Kent's face? Names, right? No thanks. I'm honestly creeped out by anybody who worships Kent that much. You waiting in line to have Kent sign your yearbook? Oh my gosh, yes. I slept here all last night so I could get a good spot in line. Mm. You slept in the cafeteria? That's, uh, pretty dedicated. And desperate? Oh, I'm Kent's number one fan! I own all <laughs> oh his my god. Pets, even the Cocker Spaniel that died under mysterious circumstances. Mysterious circumstances, that's never a good sign. Okay. Wonder where he keeps them. Maybe he cuddles with them at night. Look at that sad, sorry guy. I was about I to say. I feel sad and sorry for him. That sad janitor. No thanks. I don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> uh, you missed a spot. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm I I know I'm slacking. Sorry. I pressed the A button too quick. You miss a lot of spots to be. Uh, you miss a lot of spots to be honest. You miss a lot of spots to be honest. Oh, I feel like I ain't got no reason to clean no more since my wife left me. We're going through divorce, Heart. and my cleaning skills ain't what they used to be. Every piece of white trash reminds me of her. I can't bring myself to throw anything away. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Don't have much <laughs> advice. Oh, I'm sorry to lay that on you. It's just, I heard it through the grapevine. And by grapevine, I mean stalking her. Mm -hmm. That she's taking out a new fella to lay telepathy. It's no Blair. That was our special spot. I Ooh. hope her day turns oh out God. horrible. This is a lot of personal information. Your tears are doing half the mopping around here. Your tears are doing half the mopping around here. I can't help it. I just missed my wife so much. Oh, Beverly. Her curly blonde hair, her permanent scowl, that rare smile that shines like a fresh lip up bathroom floor. Oh, beautiful Beverly. That's, uh, very sweet. Wish there was something I could do to help. Another side quest? No, apparently not. Okay. Will you go to prom with me now that you and Beverly broke up? Will you go to prom with me? Oh. Sorry, kid, you're cute and all, but I, okay. I can't bear to be around romance right now. It's just too painful to be reminded of my soon-to-be ex-wife. I just find it very interesting that his only concern is, um, or that the only reason he's not going to prom with us is that he's getting a divorce from his wife. Just saying. But we already had um, the principal say something very questionable as well, right? Think your soon-to-be ex-wife would go to prom with me? Fuck you, kid! Why don't you go ask her yourself? Maybe I will. She's probably telepathy moving on without me. Wherever that is, but I have a feeling that we're gonna get there eventually. Ah, marriage mending. Okay, another chore. Say, can I borrow your keys? Say, can I borrow your keys? My, my keys? Well, what do you need them for? Uh, I was going to key the car of your soon-to-be ex-wife's date. Oh, that's awfully sweet of you, little buddy. The thing is, they're not on me, and I can't remember where I left them. 
I could have left them in one of my crying spots, like the faculty lounge or the boiler room, so maybe check those places. If they are anywhere, I'm sure they are in the boiler room, because I don't remember seeing any keys in the faculty lounge, or maybe they just spawned now that we activated it, but I don't know. Okay, I'll check those out, and maybe give those crying spots a test drive. Oh, trust me, they're the best darn crying spots in the whole school. If you say so. Well, good luck out there. Well, good luck out there. Oh, if luck be a lady, she would have left me too. <laughs> Oh, Beverly. Okay. Let's talk the or let's look at the security guy. That's Kent's personal bodyguard. I wonder how much Kent's parents pay him to beat up his peers. I beat up adults for him too. Now line up or get lost. Mr. Beef. If I touch him, I'll probably lose an arm. Yeah. Or him, both of them. It's self-defense. Do it. Maybe later when I've lost the will to live. I'll be waiting. Hmm, good to know. Hey, I... Look, kid, if you're trying to get Sir Kent's autograph, you're gonna have to line up right here like everyone else. No cutsies. Uh, no, I, I just wanted to... No cutsies. Get out of my bubble! Hey, what are you trying to kiss me or something, weirdo? Yes. Get in line. Oh, look, it's Kent. You see that line, dick nips? It's not for decoration. Get in the back of the line like everyone else, and if you're lucky, I'll only charge you double for my autograph. I don't want you to sign my yearbook, dude. Come on, Coop. Didn't you get voted most likely to get murdered by Kent? Did we? I don't know. Yeah, and I don't want to commemorate it. Thanks. Mm. Suit yourself. Let me know if you change your mind. I'll even write your epitaph in there. Uh, your family is filthy rich, dude. Why are you taking money for autographs? Your family is filthy rich, dude. Why are you taking money for autographs? Well, piss face, my autograph and a freshman yearbook pre-prom is top shelf stuff. Especially with this being my second senior year. Some people collect these things. Nice things. Don't get all butthurt because you can't afford nice things. Or is it because you can't afford these nice things since your parents cut you off for being held back a grade? Sawyer ooh. said that you cried when they cut up your credit card. Bald ooh, even. Ooh, ooh. Keep talking like that and I'll have to do something about it. Say, so I heard the your truth. browser history got posted on billboards all over town. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. Very funny. You won't be able to do pranks like that anymore now that your family cut off your gravy train. I heard that Circle J is hiring. Ever thought mm -hmm. of applying for a part-time gig to supplement your income? Also... If you're worried about uh, if you're worried about your browsing history um, leaking out to the public, just use incognito mode, right? <laughs> Seriously, dude. Thanks for the bullshit advice, but if I were you, I'd walk away while you still have your legs. Would your parents still bail you out of jail after an assault charge? You're goddamn right they would. Let's try that out. Oh, uh, you know I'm just fooling with you, right? Just jokes. Please don't hurt me. Walk away. No, we still have more to say. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? You see, Coop, the ecology of a modern-day high school is a delicate balance that must be precisely maintained at all times. I'm a white hat bully. I bully for good, not mm -hmm. for evil. If you say so. If it weren't for bullies like me, everyone would be eating their boogers and sucking their thumbs. Who would make fun of the kid with the boner? Who would make fun of the LARPing kids? Who would all the hot girls date? I give people the opportunity for change, a chance to see the light. I'm a mirror for self-reflection, and I'm gonna make you less shitty no matter what, hmm. even if it kills you. Some personality issues, maybe? Maybe he thinks higher of, them, of himself than he really is? Yeah, it's too bad for you that I'm totally confident in who I am and hmm. don't need your acceptance to feel validated as a person. As everybody should. Let's not kid ourselves, cum face. Well... I don't LARP, at least. A drop in the bucket, pal. You've got a long way to go. What would you say if I told you that I know the real reason why... What would you say if I told you I know the real reason why you didn't graduate? Didn't graduate, okay. What are you getting at, piss pants? Everyone knows I got held back on purpose so I can be the only hunk to ever get voted prom king five times. Five times, wow. Oh, so it definitely isn't because you failed every single class except for culinary arts? <laughs> they were nowhere near the required credit count to graduate? Uh, no, that's, that's <laughs> ridiculous. You're way off base, poop scoop. Everyone knows that I'm here for the sole purpose of defending my prom king title and to keep all the dickweeds like you in line. But that second part is more of a hobby than anything else. 
I'm sure it is. That's weird, because I heard that your final report card went missing last year. Like, someone stole out of your mailbox or something. Was that just a rumor? Weird rumor. Wonder where it ended up if it did go missing. Probably not in the hands of a dickweed like me or anything. Hope it's somewhere safe. What are you trying to say? Are you saying you have it, Queef Beef? Maybe. I'm just saying, I bet you make a mean quiche. <laughs> Mr. Beef makes a mean knuckle sandwich if you'd like a sample. No, thanks. Mustard on that? No. Uh, no, thanks. No, thanks. I'm on a low <laughs> violence diet. Then I suggest you forget whatever it is you think that you know, and if you don't, that one time I tied your shoelaces to a moving vehicle won't seem half as bad. All right, all right. I get it. You brutes. Almost done. Uh, what do I have to do to get you to leave me alone? What do I have to do to get you to leave me alone? You can stop pissing me off with every breath you take, for starters. Or you could move or be buried alive or some shit. But then our lives wouldn't be as fun, would they, Coop? The only thing I'm going to miss after graduation is tormenting you. Mm. I'm going to miss throwing your photo albums in the toilet. I'll miss posting your social security number on the dark web. Um... He really has a lot of dialogue, right? He has a lot of things to share with uh, Coop and... Uh, Honestly, right now, now that, I, now that I think about it, I have a feeling that he might have a crush on Coop. You know, it's always, um, you know, like the bullies trying to hide something, and um, when they really are into you, they try to hurt you, they try to downplay it by hurting you, making fun of you, whatever. At least, I guess in a way, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll miss sending you to gay conversion therapy. Or that time I switch your antidepressants with depressants. <laughs> and I'll definitely miss paying your dentist to replace your teeth with little tiny dildos. What the fuck? I definitely won't miss getting my armpit hair ripped out, or having aluminum foil thrown into my mouth whenever I yawn. It's such a shame. School is a lot more fun when there's a puss tush to torment. <laughs> and you're the biggest puss tush a man like me could ask for. Soon it'll be the last time you see this puss tush. Enjoy it while it lasts. The sexual tension between those two is unbearable. Oh, I will. I've got some real good shit in the works for you. Consider it a farewell from yours truly. You'll see. What does that mean? Oh, nothing. Good luck trying to make it to graduation day. Hmm. Well, if the apocalypse happens, we're already gonna have a hard time making it to graduation day, right? Ah, shit. Okay, you look... busy. I'll leave you to it. You look... busy. I'll leave you to it. I'm always too busy for you. Don't come back. Yeah, I won't. Um... You know the drill? Oh, first of all, let's check out the chores. Return to Sawyer. Yeah, now that we've done it, now that we did that uh, with the uh, flyers, um, we have to obviously report back to Sawyer. But let me check out the marriage mending, actually. Go to Le Telepathe and talk to Beverly. Yeah, again, wherever that is, I don't know. But again, you know the drill, save game. And I'm going to end it here for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of my Freak Apocalypse Let's Play or in another game here on my channel. And until then, bye bye